At six, how much does your vehicle know about you? Well, you may be surprised to learn what kind of information is being tracked and collected. Our Joanne Purton is here with tonight's Don't Waste Your Money Consumer Report and Alert. This, yeah, this is the future, you guys. Connected cars we're talking about. Every year, our cars are getting smarter, and they're more connected than ever. Ford has Sync, GM OnStar, and with Fiat Chrysler vehicles, it's Uconnect. The common thread, they and other systems capture a whole lot of information about you. Ken Lingenfelter's car collection is known worldwide. He gets calls from car enthusiasts around the world about it. But after he took a ride in his Bugatti Veyron, he returned home to a different kind of phone call. First of all, um, they kind of asked me how things were going at the speed I was driving. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I was misbehaving just a little bit. Yes, that information was being transmitted back to the Italian company. And then at the end of the conversation, they had indicated that they had noticed some extra moisture in the crankcase that they weren't expecting to see. But you don't have to have a $1.6 million car to have data being collected about you and your driving. Your car knows where you're going. It knows that when you're going, uh, it knows your, your kind of driving habits. It's all part of the connected car movement, essentially your car communicating with something else, a device in your car like your cell phone, the internet, road work infrastructure, or the automaker. Consumers are not even aware of how much information their cars are collecting on them. A check of Ford, GM, and Fiat Chrysler's privacy policy shows the kind of information collected, like your location, vehicle sensor data, tire pressure, safety belt usage, and how you brake. The FIA, or International Federation of Automobiles, recently found with some Mercedes, the tightening of seat belts due to sudden braking was tracked, and the vehicle's GPS position was shared with the manufacturer every two minutes. John McElroy is an automotive journalist and host of AutoLine Daily. Now, there's some information that their car is collecting they're not going to care about. Is the fuel injector firing? Is the spark plug firing? I don't think people care about that at all. But where I go, maybe who I'm visiting, maybe who's been in my car capturing conversation, which is potential uh, uh, an ability to do. When I asked the Detroit 3 about their collection procedures, Ford and GM told me that some of the data they collect helps with features like remote start and lock and unlock of your vehicles, and also to help monitor things like fuel level or problems with the car that they can then notify the driver about. When you register for your vehicle's in-car systems, you're essentially opting into the data collection. It all raises red flags with privacy experts. I talked with Lauren Smith with the future of privacy in Washington, D.C. Some information may be going to the manufacturer, some may be staying locally on the car, some may be going to your insurance company if you've elected that, um, some may be going to a technology that you've, that you've opted in to use. Um, so we're trying to sort of help clarify for consumers what types of information your car might collect and, and where the information might be being sent. In Ken's case, a team of engineers flew in from Italy to fix his car. No. As connected as our cars get, we're not going to get a personal mechanic to come out and fix our car. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> to say that, hey, all the Detroit automakers outlined their data collection and extensive privacy policies that also limit what can be shared with third parties. You can find links to those on our website, WXYZ.com. And by the way, with all, while all the major automakers have signed this consumer privacy protection principles that they all came right. up with and said they adhere to, some groups are still calling for legislation regarding this ever-changing field because it's changing every day. Yeah. Yeah. So you never know if they're even listening to you in the car. Well, yeah, that's you, you know, but but they're they're promomising they're not sharing the data. That's they're, what they're yes, promising. Yes, for the most part without a consent but on your part. Uh, yeah, right. 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 Read the fine print. <laughs> Read the fine that, print. That always. is the important thing. Thanks, Joanne.